Stand by. This holiday season, Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year's Day is a time for celebration and joy. Our country has remained at peace for another year for which we can be grateful. But it's a sad truth that peace can only be maintained by being prepared for war. You, the members of the armed forces, stand at the front edge of the readiness that allows our nation to pause and reflect during this holiday season. From the days of Valley Forge, our country has asked great sacrifices of its citizens and citizen soldiers. These sacrifices are felt more deeply this time of year as some of you spend the holidays away from your homes and loved ones, in many cases for the first time. I want you to know that I'm deeply grateful to you, as are Americans everywhere. I feel great pride as I look back over the eight years it has been my privilege to serve as your Commander-in-Chief. You are the nation's finest, and you're among the most professional men and women to have worn the uniforms of our armed services. Your patriotism, dedication, and ability to do your difficult but vitally important jobs have enabled Americans everywhere to stand tall and free. Nancy and I wish you and your families a very happy holiday season and a peaceful and prosperous 1989. God bless you all. Cut. Okay. Stand by. Thanksgiving is a time when we surround ourselves with family and friends and give thanks for the blessings we've received. It is a truly American holiday that began when the first settlers gave thanks to God for their survival in a hostile and strange environment. Americans still have much in common with those early settlers who tilled their fields but were always ready to shoulder muskets to defend the settlement. While the world is much more complex today, you soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines are just as ready to defend the settlement we call the United States of America. It is not an easy task. You routinely sacrifice many comforts so the rest of us can live safely, secure in the blessings of liberty and peace. Your sacrifices are appreciated, and the thoughts of all Americans are with you as you spend another holiday guarding our freedoms. We can have peace only if we're prepared for war. During my tenure, we have all worked hard to rebuild our armed forces and keep them strong. I will leave office in January, secure in the knowledge that the armed forces of the United States are well-equipped, well-trained, and well-motivated. For that, we can be thankful this holiday season. Nancy and I wish all of you and your families a bountiful Thanksgiving as we give thanks for America. God bless you.